Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. I am Claire Jones, owner of Little Clarity. If we haven't met yet, I am the change guide for growth that provides support and stability to high achieving women during times of change, stress, and or transformation. Basically the times in our lives where everything goes sideways. And I am jumping on today to talk about the sixth area of wellness to prioritize in order to show up as your best self in everything that you do and achieve more in less time with less stress. And today we're talking about time in. So if you're catching me live or if you're watching the replay, comment below, tell us where you're tuning in from and what your favorite self check-in activity is. But before I get into the nitty gritty here, I wanted to let you all know that I am opening up three spaces to the women impact makers out there who want to take control of their schedules and cultivate a solid foundation of mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical practices that will support them in achieving their goals without burning out in the process and not losing our marbles in the process. So if you're interested, I'll put the link in the chat here or I guess in the comment section and yeah. Just book a call if you're ready. So now, how have I implemented time in over the years? I was first introduced to the importance of meditation when I read the Neuroleadership Handbook in 2016. It is this big textbook that I keep by my side on my desk because I am absolutely obsessed with it. And I was learning about how the healthy mind platter and many other neuroscientific frameworks and it unleashed a massive curiosity within me. I started reading books like The Surrender Experiment by Michael A. Singer. Stumbling on Happiness by Daniel, Daniel Gilbert, 10% um, Happier by Dan Harris, The Undefeated Mind by Alex Lickerman, and Going to Pieces Without Falling Apart by Mark Epstein. And I was absolutely astounded at the massive results that meditation could provide across the board, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. It took me a couple years, but I first started implementing an intentional meditation practice back in March of 2019. I started with twice a week scheduled at the end of my workday on Wednesdays and Fridays for 10 minutes each. Then I increased it to three times a week starting in April for 10 minutes each, and then I slowly increased to sessions of 20 minutes each as the months progressed. In October, I started to realize that these sessions were much more productive and fruitful for me if I scheduled them at lunchtime as a chance to reset in the middle of my workday. And then in February 2020, I made the leap to meditating every weekday, and I haven't looked back since. It has been an absolute game changer for me in the way that I tap into my internal sensations and create a strong foundation of self-awareness. So the moral of the story here is that you have to create a practice that works best for you. Maybe you're a morning meditator. Maybe you're an evening meditator. Maybe you're a weekend meditator. There is no right or wrong answer here. It's just finding out what works best for you. So can anyone relate to this? I'm sure there are a lot of you out there. So if you're interested in finding activities like these that work best for you, I'm opening up three spaces to the women go-getters out there who want to take control of their schedules and better feed their brain's needs. The link is in the comments if you're interested. So let's get into the nitty gritty with time in. So it involves intentional relaxation, reflection, or mindfulness. It is a type of focused training for the mind that uses self-inquiry and self-awareness to achieve self-regulation. It is a process that aims to decrease sympathetic activation, that's your sympathetic nervous system, decreases heart rate, and decreases much muscle tension. By creating the space between mental, physical, and emotional reactions, it allows us to adopt and maintain a self-observing attitude. So self-observation when done in a non-judgmental and accepting manner increases our ability to choose our responses instead of succumbing to automatic and potentially problematic physical, mental, and emotional responses. It's basically responding instead of reacting. So this could be meditation or prayer, but it's basically focusing on your internal states. Notice what is going on inside of you. Take a minute or two to check in with your internal sensations, your internal feelings, thoughts, processes. Notice them in a non-judgmental and accepting manner. 
when you have this intentional time to check in with yourself and become aware of those internal processes, it's also called interoception, which basically means looking inside, you are able to become more aware of your internal states, your internal values, your internal guiding systems, so that you can better respond to the world outside of you with intentional forethought instead of impulsive reaction. So an easy action step would be set aside 15 minutes a day to be in silence with your eyes closed, and an easy tool would be to set an alarm to remind you. It doesn't have to be a difficult thing to work into your daily time. Just set a recurring alarm or a recurring appointment in your calendar. I found that it works for me if I schedule it for right after I eat lunch because I'm not tired or hungry, so I can actually really focus. And whenever your reminder goes off, just take 15 minutes to sit there with your eyes closed and focus on your internal space, your internal sensations, your internal feelings. I've even heard of people doing two to five minute meditations in between activities throughout the day, like between meetings or between projects or appointments. It helps to have the full 15 minute block, but you can really better is better than some is better than none. So sneak it in whenever you feel like you can. So when you are, so my question for you is when are you centering and checking in with yourself throughout the week? This is absolutely vital to a strong sense of self-awareness. And that's pretty much it for today. So if you're interested in learning more, book a call with me. Let's talk about the best way to get you on track focused and devoting your time appropriately to these activities that will feed your brain and empower you to achieve your goals while having way more fun in the process. So we can use tools like the Healthy Mind Platter, flexible time blocking, and empowering rituals so that you can reach and maintain peak performance even in times of change, stress, and or transformation. I cannot wait to support you in your growth journey. So in the meantime, please join me for more of these Facebook Lives. I will be doing a deeper dive into each of the wellness areas and providing you with practical tips, tools, and recommendations. I'll be jumping on tomorrow to talk about focus time. And until then, remember that your authentic self is extraordinary. It is wonderful. And you owe it to yourself to create the elevated life that you know you are capable of. All right, cool. Take care, guys. Bye.